what you know about me. I always Perfect. ask all of our all of our guests, all the success you had when you reached the million million dollar mark for your business and revenue. What was that mama I made it moment? What was the one moment where you sat there and just maybe sat in the office and was like, holy crap, like what did I do? And what was that like? Like what and also another part two to that, you say a lot about fun. How do you deal with the fun and keep it fun when you're dealing with the pressures of the business? Uh, okay, so let's answer the first question. Um, I've never had the mama I've made it moment. Ever. Even we, to this we, day. We're going to have a talk after this. We gonna okay. Have a talk no, I, love, I, I know where you're going. Kind of, kind of, I would love to hear why. I would love to hear why. Yeah, I just, I think when, I think when business owners get complacent, you know, the, the again, another adage, like if you're not growing, you're dying. And I, I think that if you sit in the moment, yes, you can be proud, but saying that you've accomplished something and you're done or, you know, you rest on your laurels too long, you die, you, you fall backwards, you get, uh, you know, too big headed, you see egos. And, and I wanted to continue to practice humility because at the end of the day, I wasn't just doing this for me. I was doing it for my people. I was doing it for our clients. And so for me to make this about me, wasn't really the intention, right? That was never the point. And even today, I feel the same way as, you know, as well. Um, so, um, and I'm sorry, I missed the second question. The second one is, um, because you're dealing with the pressures of being the CEO, you're the face of the right. brand. How do you keep it fun when you're dealing with so many different personalities, so many different people that, that you are responsible for? Sure. I do not take it for granted that I have been so lucky to have the right people on the bus with so, me, so right? Critical, like, being, so I, you know, picking the right people who believe in the vision and, and people who want to work hard. You got to have both sides of the fence, right? You got to have people who want to be here and want to win. You can't just have cool people that don't get their work done. You can't have people just get their work done, but they're jerks, right? You've got to have that. Do not take that for granted. And what's beautiful is my core leadership team. My president's been here for 10 years. She's amazing. My um, creative director, uh, 12 years, right? So these guys were all That's part of the bad. early. Yeah, right. So um, having people keep you humble and remember the early days of the business, like Shane and Darren and May, right? That's really grounding to have that and to have that established relationship of do you remember when, right? And, oh, and don't yeah. get too comfy. Yeah.